It's Transformers 96 here with another collection update. So it's been a long time since I've done a collection update, and uh, just sorry about that. I've been really busy, and uh, I just I kept you know wanting to wait till I get something because you know I I'm like oh I'm gonna get this thing in like a week or so, and why not just wait to do it then? And I kept doing that, and it really just got delayed. So very sorry for the delayed collection video because I know that I have gotten requests in the past to do collection videos more often. So yeah. So let's just start it off where we always at. It's our uh, the bottom shelf on the left. This is the small movie toy line shelf, and uh, and yeah, there are some changes on here as well. So, as you can see, we have Pirates of the Caribbean, then Real Steel. This little spot had a. Uh, had uh, men in black figures on it, but I just took them down. Um, I think I'm going to put them back up though, so that'll probably have the men in black stuff back up. Prometheus right there in the back. Got some G.I. Joe. Then Tron. Then we move over, we have The Hobbit, which has definitely gotten bigger since the last collection video, as well as just some Marvel 6 uh, or 8 inch figures in the back. Then we have some Hellboy right here. And then we have Comic DC. I needed to make some room up there on my DC shelf, so I had to take down uh, a lot of the Comic 6-inch figures, as well as my four 3 inch uh, Injustice figures. So yeah, so now let's go up to the DC. Alright, now up to the DC shelf, we have the Green Lantern movie collection. Uh, yeah, very happy with that. Love that Parallax build -a figure Then we have some Dark Knight and Batman stuff. Got the little Hot Wheels on the ground with some of the small little uh, figures. Yeah, you got the build -a figure uh, bat signal. Then we have two comic figures, uh, Bane and Necron, the build -a figures. Then we have our Killo and my Yellow Lantern display. And right next to it, we do have uh, what is it? Uh, Man, Man of Steel figures. So yeah. Then moving over, it's Arkham. Arkham is definitely the, out of all of these stuff, you know, uh, the 6 inch uh, uh, DC stuff, they're really not coming out with anymore basically, so don't plan to get any more of that. And then the uh, these lines are dead in, until Man of Steel 2, which won't be until 2016, so the only thing that's growing on the shelf is Arkham, but I will say Arkham is growing quite fast. And uh, yeah, the two newest figures got that... Uh, Origins, Croc, as well as Firefly. I do plan to pick up a Deadshot, and, um, and you know, I'm thinking about Anarchy. Uh, I don't know if I will, though. So, yeah, that'll definitely be growing, especially with uh, Arkham Knight coming out. Very excited for that as well. So we move it up here. We have uh, Comic Marvel now, and we've got Selects and... Uh, uh, Marvel Legends build -a figures in the back, then Marvel Legends closer to the front, and then all the way at the front we have Marvel Universe. And I did for a time display my mini mates right here, but I just took them down just recently because I did find this comic um, abomination as well as uh, another Marvel Universe figure. So I thought that I, I might as well just take them down for the extra space because you know the other stuff has grown. And with the with the mini mates up here, I really had maxed out the space, so I took them down just recently. The other figure that I just found is this guy. I, his name is like the Knight or something. Something night. So yeah, so I'm very happy about those two finds at Toys R Us. Then we move over to everything Spider-Man, including Movie. We've got all the Spider-Man stuff there. That little space had a figure on it, which I took off, uh, with, but I'll show you why uh, in a little bit here. I do have a couple mini mates right here. So yeah, so now up to Transformers. We have Transformers Prime. I just watched like that hour long like a Transformers Prime movie and I guess that was the last Transformers Prime show. I didn't even know but I just watched it on Netflix and uh, you know Optimus Prime like dies at the end. It was crazy. I, I wasn't expecting that to be the last Transformer Prime thing but I guess it is. If I'm mistaken though please let me know in the comments. We move over to movie uh, Autobots. Moving slowly. A new addition because really Transformers, my Transformers collection over my last collection videos has not changed much at all and that's because there's just been no other figures and uh, now we're finally getting into some Age of Extinction. We've got the first edition Prime right up there and um, t uh, when May comes out, when May is here, a lot more figures will come out so definitely a lot more to collect. Moves over to movie Decepticons. Nothing has really changed up here. I'm going to go over it fairly fast. 
And then like concept um, characters, these like mini cons, I just picked up that. I really like them, so I just picked them up, I guess. And uh, I also picked up, what is it, Skywarp? I'm looking for him right now. Oh, there he is, I see him. Oh, sorry about that. Here he is. I had him in uh, his robe. I plan to review him, and I just haven't gotten to it. So yeah, got some uh, Marvel Universe up there. We scroll down to uh, to movie Marvel. As you can see, we've got the Avengers. Nothing really has changed right here. And we move over to Captain America. Now this is where stuff has changed. Obviously, uh, put in Red Skull, and then uh, it's not focusing on Red Skull. That's weird. And then Steve Rogers. Then the Winter Soldier, and then in the back there, I did take off that uh, that base that you kind of can build with Red Skull and Captain America from the Diamond Select. I used to have them standing on it, I just took them off, and now um, we've got uh, the uh, stealth armor or stealth suit uh, Captain America with the uh, Winter Soldier. Looking for Black Widow, can't find her though, at the moment at least. Alright, and then uh, we've got Thor and Thor 2, got the mini mates down here. Good. I like him on the flying base. I think that looks really awesome. And then uh, here's uh, the Diamond Select 2 Thor. Got him standing on that rock. I absolutely love that he can stand on that thing. I think it looks great. Got Jane and the whole bit. Frost Giants. Pretty interesting if you're watching the, uh, the S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show. Yeah, so I won't spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen it yet, but pretty interesting. Then we've got some uh, Iron Man. Nothing really has changed here. I mean nothing at all. So yeah. We go down to Star Wars, we've got, I did put, now this is a big change if I'm not mistaken, I haven't shown you guys this yet, I did take off the uh, the sideshow Star Wars stuff that I had in the in the, uh, in the the glass cases, I did take them out due to needing space, so, uh, so I just put them on the regular Star Wars shelf, and I did just pick up this Lego Rancor set, uh, which, it was on clearance for like $40 at Target, so couldn't pass it up, I picked them up, a little bit of a gap here just for future figures I guess. Got some of the um, six inch black series stuff right there. They've got clones, just some movie three and a quarter inch. Got my Job the Hut collection. The newest uh, member of this collection from the Star Wars is this guard. Just found him at a Target, very happy about that. So, yeah. Then we move it on over to uh, Clone Wars. I, I've been watching those uh, those Lost the Lost season on Netflix. Very cool. Really enjoying that. Haven't finished them yet, but I'm gonna be so sad when I finish them. Uh, but uh, too bad that series is canceled because that was a great one. Really great. And yeah, then we move it down here. We've got Transformers Prime. Big thanks to uh, to Toys Two Ten for sending me these activators. Very cool. I was actually really happy with them. They're very fun. And then we've got, uh, uh, I want to call them, I want to say Man of Steel, Movie Masters. Movie Masters uh, Transformers stuff, uh, Shockwave, Soundwave, and uh, Thundercracker, and uh, Soundwave's Minions. Then we have the Lego Movie. This is different. I did end up collecting a lot of the stuff from the Lego Movie toy line and uh, just put them on the shelf. I, I assume that eventually they'll be taken down, but for now, they're, they're fun right there. Then we've got this little setup. I did just find Boomerang at uh, Toys R Us, and on the um, Superior Spider-Man select base, I have him fighting the Marvel Legends Superior Spider-Man, so that's very cool. I'm very happy with that setup. Just have one Star Wars tank that really had nowhere else to go, and then uh, Pacific Rim just got those two big kaijus, so I, I had to, to move them for the extra space. So overall, very happy with that. So now let's uh, look on the, the walls here. Some in package stuff. This stuff hasn't changed. On top of my detolf cabinets, you do have some Star Wars ships, as well as my custom uh, Marvel Universe Vulture. Quite, uh, quite crude, you know, but I, I was pretty happy with it. I've always wanted a Marvel Universe Vulture, and so I just made it myself. So I just got him standing up there. I don't know where I'm going to put him, though, because he's so big with the wings that I don't want to put him on my Marvel Universe shelf, so we'll see. Just some random Marvel Universe, uh, uh, random uh, mini mates that I just don't have a place for. And then some, uh, some, another Star Wars ship. I'm just losing what I'm trying to say here. Then we've got uh, the Lizard, Crossbones, and uh, the, uh, I want to say the Guardian Guardsman, something like that. I've got some more stuff on the walls. 
I don't think it really much has changed here at all. I might have put like one or two more things on the wall, but it's really funny because I have a bunch of stuff I need to hang up. I just really haven't gotten to it. Oh yeah, I think that's new. I think that I, I hung up that Hobbit thing was the newest thing. So yeah. Oh wait, I don't think I uh, showed you the rest. Here we go. So yeah, so there you go. So that's the collection. I will be doing a separate video to show you what's in the uh, the uh, the glass cabinets, which is obviously my hot toys. So I'll do a separate little video for that. But there you go. I hope you enjoyed it, and that is my uh, collection. And look for part two where I'll show off the uh, the hot toys. Thanks for watching.